Hi folks and welcome to another guide. Uh, I'd like to talk uh, today about uh, two new naval combat rules that uh, at the moment are in beta and uh, one of them and I'm going to isolate each of them into separate videos here. The first that I'm going to talk about is called pursuit combat and that's when a fleet can be composed of uh, uh, battleships, uh, cruisers, uh, patrol groups and carrier groups. Uh, they can all perform this pursuit co combat but what's special about this is that this combat occurs after you've used up your two operational points. So I'm going to read the rule as is here so that uh, we can be clear. So a fleet composed of a battle, cruiser, patrol, and carrier group may perform pursuit combat after moving and expending all their operational points. And their move ends within combat range of the enemy. This allows units to attack enemy fleets even if their operational points are all used. Pursuit combat is done as normal naval combat with some differences. Moving fleets must be in fleet mode, not have been interdicted, not end their move in a port, and not combine with another fleet. Normal search rolls are made. Any combat is at 50% combat value. Surface fleets will not succeed in pursuing a carrier fleet. So that's the rule as written. Let's see it in action from our point of view. So when I take a look at this rule, uh, what I've done is I've started the 1939 scenario and what I'm going to be doing is uh, just looking at it in hot seat mode. This is beta 9U17 that I'm playing with and I'm going to take one of the fleets here. In particular, I'm going to take a, a battleship and I put it in raider mode and I'm gonna go out to sea and I'm gonna go and attack the convoy lane like I normally would do uh, from the point of view of an Axis player. Now the idea behind the new rule is in the past you would have to been within the range of one operational point and have one remaining operational point to actually attack the particular unit. So if you recall the normal naval rules which still apply when you look at this, and I'm just going to take a carrier group here, and I'd always take a carrier group with uh, a, at least a battleship, because if this was not in radar mode and if it was in surface mode, it'd be able to interdict me. Well, if you recall from a carrier, I can attack this. I don't have to be next to it, so I can attack it about five hexes away if I want to. I'm going to go about two hexes away. And notice I've only used one operational point here. I can now then right mouse click on here and this would be a normal uh, operation that I would have a normal naval operation. Notice again when it comes to normal naval operations I'm going to take uh, a battleship and two uh, cruisers. If I wanted to attack this fleet in raider mode here I would have to be in fleet mode and I would have to be next to the actual unit that I'm attacking with one operational point remaining. So you can see the normal rules still apply. They're still in, in effect here. But when I go and I attack, let's say from uh, this unit, when I and this is a CV unit so I don't need to be next to it you can see I've used up two operational points using up two operational points I normally would have not been able to attack this raider but notice with the new pursuit combat rule when I move and I've used up my two operational points here this uh, I have made contact with the raider and it looks like that I've actually so using carrier pursuit here have caused two damage points so you can see this rule uh, adds uh, a new flavor to the Atlantic actually making it more exciting uh, and uh, the battles uh, more uh, important and you don't have raiders who now can uh, move around and stay uh, two operational points away all the time uh, f and going all over the Atlantic and not being able to be attacked with this new pursuit combat rule uh, what ends up happening is uh, this raider here uh, doesn't have that option anymore 
Notice again, this is a battleship and a destroyer here. So using the normal combat rules, what ends up happening is I would have to be beside it to have the pursuit combat. But notice I've used up two operational points here. So normally I wouldn't be able to attack, but once I right mouse click and with the new rule, what ends up happening is even though this was unsuccessful, my fleet attempted to attack the raider. So this rule is a great addition to the game. So when you when you didn't think the game could get any better, it does. And like I said, with some of the changes that are coming into play uh, and some of the new rules that are being introduced, the flavor of the game is just getting better and better. And the reality is this is a great addition to the game itself, at least in my opinion, uh, because now it, it deals with the issue of uh, the one strategy with Raiders is being very difficult to find in the Atlantic, but moving uh, far enough away that pursuers can't get any combat into the actual fleet itself. Now, even though the fleets are uh, using up two of their operational points, at least when they attack, and remember it's at 50% value, uh, at least they'll, they get the ability to attack even if it's only 50% value. So this is a great addition that I wanted to uh, show you all and hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, enjoy playing the game as much as I do and uh, stay safe. Have yourself a wonderful day and thank you again for watching.